Major Slack videos. Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Outer Worlds, and we are here back in the ship, and uh, we are here in Fallbrook. Before we go take on Fallbrook and get acquainted with everybody, let's do a little tinkering. I want to tinker the hunting rifle. That's it, that's maxed, and tinker up the light machine gun. Where are you, sweetheart? Nope, that's not you. Here you are. And you're at the max, and I want to tinker up uh, the prismatic hammer. You're at the max, and the plasma launcher, which we just re recently acquired. Now, we could potentially tinker it up to level 26. That's going to cost way too much. That will actually cost us all our cash on hand, in fact. Um, instead, let's just tinker it up to level... 23. Just enough to get the max damage, the overcharge damage around the 11 or 1200. Okay, so here we go. There we go, it's over a thousand. 1100. 1200. And the next shot is going to cost 733 bucks. That is acceptable. And there we go, 1291. That's acceptable. Now, we have a mag to melt mod on board. We have lots of mods on board. Don't want that. I find this very interesting. A mod that is pristine. Huh. So what does that mean? If you apply to some armor, the armor automatically becomes pristine? What the... I'm going to have to experiment with that. Um, okay. Uh, mag to melt. And we can also put a Whisper Quiet mod on it, believe it or not. You, you're coming on board. Okay, you get Whisper Quiet. And you get mag to melt. This is an excellent, oh shit, here they come weapon. <laughs> Just charge it up and blast it out. 1241 damage. No sneak attack required, no crit hit required. Just, you know, and it typically one shots most things coming at you. So yeah, this is, like I said, it's a great oh shit weapon. And it's quiet. Noise range only 6 meters. That is not to say that our light machine gun is no, no longer useful, but uh, yeah, we'll try that out for a while. And um, we're ready to go. Before I forget, set auto collapse inventory to off, and that's it. Let's go talk to people in Fallbrook. Plus, I want to buy up all the drinks and weapon parts that Fallbrook can muster up. Do you have weapon parts? Yes, you do. Thank you very much. Do you have anything to drink? No, you're not. There's a shortcut down to town. This is what we're looking for right here. Malin's House of Hospitality. Catherine. Uh-huh. You blind fella? Or can you not see I'm busy? Why is it every sisty pig fucker who strolls into my town expects me to smile and shout awful friendly? Welcome to Fallbrook. Only nugget of paradise in this entire law-forsaken land. Like a void damn advert. <laughs> nice to meet you too. I am Buzz Lightbeer. To win sobriety and beyond. I'll be sure to remember that, fella. Yeah, you do. You want to tell me what you need? Well, I'm half listening. Uh, okay. Let's start with, um, I'm the fixer for your sublight problem. 
Good of you to finally haul your ass over here. I wired for backup weeks ago. Got something that's gonna require special extraction. Okay, can we cut to the chase here? All right, all right. One of my runners uncovered a cache of Alta Vitae gas left in a lab when the board abandoned Cascadia. To extract the gas, you'll need to siphon it from the lab in Cascadia into one of your ship's fuel tanks. Totally safe. Oh, totally. Okay, I can get it done. I do like your gumption, but let's not be hasty. To get to the gas, you'll need to navigate through the town, which is overrun by marauders. The lab itself has become an infested nest, crawling with mantis. You gotta fight through or figure out some other way to exterminate them. Maybe the ventilation system? Hey, right. don't worry, I'll find a way around the mantisaurs. Clever. That's why Lilia's paying you, I take it. Now, after you clear the mantis nest and reach the storage room, all that's left is to get the gas flowing into the fuel system. The task will require someone with technical skills. That's or us. Or you could force it through with a plasma overload. Don't recommend that option, though, unless you want to get dead. And uh, better to do it safely. I only got one chip. And I'd rather not wait another several weeks for Lilia to send your replacement. Once you've got our goods, take them to the Groundbreaker. Lilia's fencers ought to handle the rest of it. Uh, but the passcode. I've marked the coordinates for you to the lab in Cascadia. Use the passcode antediluvian on the terminal to get in. Got it. But before you make your run, I could use a heavy helping hand regarding a local issue. For a fine fee, of course. Okay, I might be interested. Good. This particular matter of opportunity has been eating at me for a while now. There's a Borst factory on up the way, run by a man who calls himself the King. Clive Lundberg, insufferable prick. That aside, it's a business ripe for the plucking. I want it. Clear as that. Okay, I get the feeling this is going to involve murder and mayhem. Stars, I hope so. <laughs> Clive Lundberg, the self-proclaimed Borst King of Monarch, is swimming in profit and drowning in his ego. He's making the only meal to be had this side of Monarch, and I'm tired of ponying up for my dinner. I want that Borst factory. Owner dead or alive. And you're the soon-to-be handsomely paid son of a bitch who's gonna get it for me. Okay, uh, pff, any tips on how I might get in? If you got brass knockers, you can shoot your way through the front gate. Okay. If you don't fancy getting shot to shit, you can try asking Duncan for a disguise. Ask Duncan for his disguise, okay. Might be another way in, assuming you're courageous enough to trek the sewers. Void if I know. Hit him where it hurts. In his gut or his production lines ought to make do. Alright, uh, say I want to sabotage the factory. Then I'd say you might care to poison the sisty pigs. Doctor a few financial records, or throw a wrench in the canning machinery. All right, and if I just wanted to kill him? Sometimes the simplest solution is the sweetest. I don't give a wit about the method or the means, just the end. All right, sounds good. It'll be more than good when you're finished. Maybe not for Clive, but for me and you, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, and if you don't fancy going in guns blazing or crawling through a sewer pipe. See Duncan in the dry goods and sundry building. He ought to have an employee ID in that stash of illicit goods he keeps for select clientele. Yeah, you already told us about May that. Luck be with you. All right. Since I won't be. All right. Now, uh, we have to ask you about Sanjar. How's Clive? I do hope you gave him my regards. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about something else. I'm standing right here in front of you. I couldn't possibly have completed that mission already. All right. Let's just stay focused. Sure. Okay. Now, uh, Sanjar said you know something about a corporation operating in secret on Monarch. Might be I know something about it. Oh, okay. Might be someone hired my crew to blind drop supplies on the Northern Bridge. Might be they sure as shit weren't pirates. Now that I consider it, I ain't heard from my delivery team in far too long. Find them for me, and I'll pay you handsomely. <laughs> Might be you don't know SFA about what's going on here. Okay, you really can't tell me anything else? If I could, I would have. It's my crew whose lives are on the line. 
Them dying's just bad business. Okay, uh, that's about it. Okay, don't buy a room from her. From her, what do you do? Whatever you do, it's a complete ripoff. You may be reading around online that you know it's a if you're playing on supernova difficulty or provide safe haven for you, it's ridiculous. You don't need it. You're gonna end up paying, uh, I forget, 500 bits or something like this, and then you'll get this location here as your personal house. All it does is provide storage space, which you already have on your ship. Uh, you can't sleep there, and you don't need to because your ship is right there. So yeah, that's, I have no idea how, um, that could be useful in any way, shape, or form. So, next, uh, we've been instructed to see Duncan. And Duncan is at the dry goods and sundry. Duncan, my man. Oh, yeah, before we do this, we probably want to put on our smooth talking suit, dialogue skills, and the nice hat. Duncan, what's up? Hungry? I'm famished myself. No rubbernecking. Make a buy or move on. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know who you're replying to, but, um, Catherine said you can give me an ID cartridge for the CMP factory. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Not so fast. The biometric IDs are special goods, only on offer to special clients. You that me? sounds like discrimination to me. I think the fact that Catherine Mallon sent me for it makes me special enough. She needs don't a you think? job? Yeah. Well. Why didn't you say so? I'm saying so Why now. You asked her where to best procure one, and she obligingly pointed you my way. That's right. Give me a jiffy to break. I can right. calibrate the ID. This goes like that. Nope, not quite right. A bit to the left, mayhaps. That'll do it. For a CMP factory line worker, she sure is a beauty. Careful. I'm trusting you to guard this specialty good with your life. I mean it. Lose the ID and you don't get another. Also, you'll be off my list of unwholesome customers. Cool. Will that be all, or do you require something to say, scratch your itch? Yeah, hey, hey, let's keep it above the equator there, okay? Okay, we'll be back in a second. Now, this updated the quest, uh... Errors Unseen. Okay, Sandra believes another company may be operating on Monarch illegally. Da, 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 da. And Catherine has updated this quest to this location here, just north of Fallbrook. And the other quest is Space Time con Space Crime Continuum, which was also updated, and then we're going to be sent down to the Cascadia location there. Next, um, back to weapons from the void. Search for clues. Hawthorne's terminal mentioned in searching black market vendors on ground, Groundbreaker and Fallbrook. Apparently he had success in the past, finding rare items using such sources. So this is such a source. Duncan. I test every product myself to assure maximum customer satisfaction. If you doubt it, I can show you my lower back rash. Yeah, no it's, it's okay. that's okay. <laughs> buy or move on. Uh, a little too much information here. Let's just deal, do business. Go to quest items. And these two data pads right here. Buy them both. This will give you the location of two science weapons right here in Monarch. Go to journal. Weapons from the void, boom. And we got one science weapon there and one another science weapon there. All right, table that for a later date. Next. I think that's about it with Duncan. Let's see if he has any weapon parts. Our dry goods come 75% guaranteed mold free. Or was that 75% mold free? Hmm. No, no guarantee. <laughs> All right, weapon parts. He's got eight. Let's buy them all. And do you have anything to drink? A mock apple shake. 
you're charging a 64 bucks a pop. We could probably get stuff a lot cheaper from this Spacer Choice Spacer's Choice vending machine here. Here we go. Let's take some of that and some of these dehydrated water tablets and some of these two hour energy brews. This is low right up here. Whatever they got. Might as well take uh, some of these mock apples, add that to our stack. And that's all she wrote. Okay, how about weapon parts? Do you have weapon parts? No, you do not. Oop. Well, the back room. Here we go. Why are you going in sneak mode? It's like, I don't know, it's just habit. <laughs> I steal something, I go in sneak mode. I don't know who has a line of sight on you up here, so let's just forget it. Okay, next! Hey, Cass! Knock, knock. Go away, White. That's not how the game works. I say, knock, knock, like I'm on the outside of a door. And you say... Who's there? I swear to the architect, I will punch your lamps out. <laughs> oh, uh... Having a rough day? I lost a shipment out for delivery. Barely made it out. Marauders got Keely. Ooh, Catherine is gonna flay the skin from your fingers. Ouch. I know. Move along. Alright, I was gonna help you with your problem, but hey. F you too. Yoink. Whoop, hey. Yoink. Next. The building, the second building to the southwest from the entrance, um, has something on top of it, first of all. Let's see if they have any weapon parts for sale. No, they do not. Beverages. Way too expensive to pass on that. Let's go around the back. Then we have a line of the yeah, other do. Okay, forget it. Line the ladder. Up we go. Get in sneak mode. Put on your lock picking gear. And boy, yeah, who's your daddy? Very good. And directly across from here, if we go directly to the northeast, find this little passage here, around here. Same deal. Ooh, here we go. Nice haul there. And finally, let's switch over to Sprack King's mission. Nelson Sprack carriers run their secretive routes through sublights, shipping tunnels. It's the last place the Sprats were seen before they went missing. It's right over there. Let's go get him. Let's try out the launcher. Said you docked three days. You know, think about the launcher is you gotta watch out for splash damage because it has a five meter radius. So let's just do a splash damage. Check your shit quick save here. Okay, auto save forced. Reload it. The 
stuff in here is marked as steel. That's why I'm shutting the door behind me. Okay, so we have a Raptor on Stalker. Let's give him what for. Hold up there. Okay, he was a little too close. I got your number. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, the area is clear. All we have to do is collect all these drugs. Five of them. Five. And take him back. Okay, what's his face? I'm good with that, I'm not a completionist. Now, what's gonna happen is gonna have the opportunity to lie. It's a pretty low um, skill check. Do we want this? No, we do not. Great damage, but minus five stealth skills. No, thank you. And no, thank you. Let's put on our dialogue suit. Probably pass it easily without the dialogue suit, but uh, yeah. And if you lie and get to keep the drugs, you'll get to keep the drugs, but you'll also get XP for lying. I believe this is the better way to Did go. Did you find them? Tell me you found my dr I mean, my Sprat carriers. I would hate should anything dire have befallen them. Yeah, I found your spat carriers, but someone stole the delivery. Seeing as how that statement is wink free, <laughs> I am madder wink. than a mantis war and ready to bite somebody. Okay, okay, you calm down cut? there. You get me the rest of my drugs, no matter what it takes. We don't get to hit you again? Dang it. Okay, and what happens is you get to keep the drugs and they get um, transformed into these things that I never use, but you might be interested in them. This right here, Adrenatine, liquid caffeine boosters. It does have a hangover though, which is why I never use them. All right, so <clears throat> pardon me. Um, we have a new objective. The mark is pointing right to the middle of town. Keep your dialogue suit on. Even though the marker is right in the middle of the street, in the middle of town. You actually have to go in there. Don't you run out that door? It's a there you go, go in here. Door. Let Talk to Bertrand. Out. Damn it all. Now look what you've done. It'll me? Take me ages to round him up again. State your purpose or get out of my face, domicile intruder. All right, all right. No need to get testy. There is plenty of need. Uh oh. I've got an animal rescue service to oversee, and it ain't easy. Lots to do. Got a multitude of sprats to spay and feed. Okay, listen up. These sprats that you stole 
Our drug carriers, I'm here to retrieve the goods. Look, I don't care if Nelson sent you or not. You won't be hurting a hair on any of these sprats' heads. I've killed vicious beasts for them. I ain't afraid to take on a human. Back out of this domicile, hands up, or become sprat food, intruder. All right, all right, all right, all right. No need for vivisection. Sprats possess rapid digestive systems, okay? You want to dig through sprat droppings? Be my guest. Get your drugs, then get lost. Okay. Oh, sprat droppings. Oh, joy. Oh. Here, grody. Oh. Double O. Oh, man, this is a big pile of shit right there. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. What are you doing here, man? Seriously. That's one big butt ugly sprat you got there. Okay, so let's go back. Keep the look suit on. Okay, Nelson, we better be able to get to hit you this time, okay? Got the goods? Because I know you wouldn't be wasting my time otherwise. Uh, I don't know. I searched all over town, couldn't find them. Wink. <laughs> they must have hightailed it out of town. Just my luck. I mean, sure, every scheme has its leaks to plug. But at this rate, I'll be ruined. What am I going to do now? Uh, well, you could pay me. Great. And now I'm in the red. Some scheme this turned out to be. No offense, but next time, I think I'll go with someone else. Where's my money? There we go. I thought we'd get to keep him. Yeah, we did. We kept it one batch. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so that's done. Okay. Maybe my scheme wasn't so surefire due to a flaw in the delivery system. Don't fret. The next one's sure to be better. Alright, yeah, it better be because, uh, you know, we played that one to a T. <coughs> and, uh... Okay, so these I definitely don't want. Let's just sell a lot of these singles here. Junking on my inventory, don't want that. Oh wait, I want that purple berry juice. That'll work. Excellente. All right. Not a completionist tour of Fallbrook, but I did everything that I wanted to take care of. Let's go back to the ship, have a nap, and get ready to take on the Monarch Wilderness again. And in the meantime, I want to thank you all very much for watching. And if you thought this video was remotely entertaining and or informative, hey, you know what to do. Give the old slacks or big old thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to make sure you get all my videos hot off the press. All right. See you next time. Hey, guys. Real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page. And please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.